All right, what's up, everybody? This is Ethioth in his first actual vlog. How about that? I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out because I just kind of mounted everything on my helmet the other night, and I'm hoping everything is gonna work good. You guys can hear me. Um, I hear a lot of wind in my helmet, so I'm not sure how that affects. Um, the microphone and if it's going to hear a lot of wind as well um but you know what let's let's get going let's get out of here so if you don't know already ooh, rocks 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 i was the lucky winner of dark flight vlogs this contest and he sent me his old drift HD camera because he upgraded to the ghost so like I said I just kind of strapped it on my helmet right now I got it in the mail a couple days ago and here we are doing my first vlog I'm really hoping wind isn't gonna affect the microphone but we'll see how that works all right so you must excuse me if I have a lot of blank spots I'm still getting used to this whole vlogging thing I don't have a stop sign, guys. I don't have a stop sign. Okay, good. You know. Um, a little bit about myself. I am in the beautiful state of California on the West Coast. Um, lane splitting is legal here if you do it safely. Something like that. The exact law. Um, have I tried it? No. God, no. I'm still a newer writer. It scares me. Because they told you in the course, if you lane split and you're all the way in the front, you better be the first off the line. Or else you're going to have cars besides you squishing you like a sandwich. Um, so that's why I haven't tried lane splitting. Um, this is my bike. She's pretty to me. I like it. Um, it's a 2005 GS500F. Um, I have the fairings. They're not on. The previous owner did, um, did drop the bike when he was riding it but I thought I'd be experimental and try to fix them up. As in, they weren't cracked or anything. One has road rash. Well, the other one was cracked and I just got a cheaper one off eBay. Bikes for this part's really cheap on eBay. Well, bikes are cheap in general if you buy used parts because so many people drop their bikes. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to buy brand new parts for your bike to look on eBay and guaranteed somebody's dropped it and they're parting it out or like a salvage yard is doing it Oop. red light so yes it's a 2005 it gives me a lot of problems it's got 42,000 miles on it doesn't like to shift into gear when it's in neutral but I just keep it in first and it solves that problem um, this is a red light so I'm gonna shut up and wait for a green light because I honestly have no idea what else to talk about. Okay, where were we? Talking about my bike. Yes, it gives me a lot of headache, but I love that kind of stuff. I love taking apart things, figuring out what's wrong with it, and a lot of times I get discouraged because I'll end up breaking something or scuffing something up and I hate it when stuff is scuffed up like like when you've taken a bolt off a lot of times and it just looks like it's been messed with I hate it when bolts look like that and stuff oh, bumpity 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 my blinker still on nope I remember to turn my blinker off all right that's a big step for me so this vlog's not gonna be too complicated more of an intro um I not the best vlogger in the world, but I hope to get there soon. Um, so, thank you guys for joining me on my very small trip and small vlog. Please subscribe. It makes me, makes me feel good. And I think I will see you all later. Peace, guys.